How's your Star Wars? Oh, job up. Now back to Country Club. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of How's Your Star Wars. Today, I'm very excited, guys, because I'm going to tell you all about some of the lightsabers that have been produced over the years. Uh, most of these are going to be licensed, some of them unlicensed. Well, actually, one of them is unlicensed, but I'm very excited to show you kind of the evolution of the Force FX lightsaber as we know it today. So we've got all sorts of lightsabers around here. We've got Ahsoka and Luke and Vader, Kit Fisto, Mace Windu, Kylo Ren, Yoda, Ben Solo, Darth Maul. We have a ton of lightsabers from the Star Wars universe. Um, I kind of wanted to, to show you guys this one to start off. This one is actually very near and dear to my heart. Uh, it no longer lights up because it's been loved so much, guys. This one um, was the first lightsaber of this quality that I got. Um, the blade does come out and it used to light up green. Um, but this I've used as costume props. I've used as, uh, you know, props for videos that I did when I was younger. Um, but this blade, I mean, if you get close enough, you could probably see that there's a lot of marks from fighting with my friends outside in the dark um, for countless nights, you can probably see. This is a very durable blade, um, and this is the only blade that I have that's unlicensed. And you might look at this and say, wow, that looks very accurate to the actual hero saber. And the reason for it looking so good is because it was actually made from the original camera props that they used for the episode four, which was Graflex. So you can see there the Graflex text in that lightsaber handle in the hilt there. And this was a camera piece. They used a camera piece to build the original lightsabers. And this is a actual Graflex camera piece, which is awesome. Um, this took a nine volt battery, which was really crazy. Um, but you could basically run this blade over with a truck and you'd be fine. Uh, but unfortunately, with enough battles, the electronics on the inside stopped working. But um, it lit up green and this was sort of like the saber that I wanted to get uh, if I was a Jedi. That was one of my first ones, very near and dear to my heart. It didn't make sound or anything like that, but it did light up. And um, it was released by Park Sabres, who I don't think are, are making sabers anymore, but very high quality piece. Um, the next company I want to go into is Master Replicas. So if you guys have been collecting Force FX lightsabers for a long time, like I have, they were the first company to produce these high-end sabers. Now I'm trying to find one. This one looks like a Master Replicas. Um, you can sort of see uh, I used to fight with this one. They've got the little kind of uh, uh, blacked out spots just because I played with it enough times. Um, this was the Empire Strikes Back Luke Skywalker Master Replica Saber. Um, this one right here, you can even see, I probably need to just update the batteries in here. It's just very dim. So it's not a, it's not a uh, reflection on the quality of the saber. It's just probably needs more batteries. Uh, but this is the Mace Windu Force FX saber from Master Replicas. Now there's actually a uh, Hasbro version of both of them, I think. Uh, this one might be marketed as Ray's saber. Um, but the Mace Windu one, there is a Hasbro one. Uh, and there's also a legacy saber of Mace Windu's at Galaxy's Edge. So we'll talk a little bit about some of those coming up, but Master Replicas was the original maker of the Force FX lightsaber. They produced a slew of them, which are actually being reproduced now. So if you guys uh, remember, Dooku's saber was originally produced by Master Replicas, and now recently Hasbro is reproducing that one, um, which is very exciting for those of us who never picked that one up uh, back in the day. Um, but Master Replicas, I mean, if you go and look at some of the Master Replica prices for some of those sabers, I mean, this is the Darth Maul. So again, probably needs some battery adjustments in here. I don't know how bright this looks, 
but this is the double bladed Darth Maul lightsaber from Master Replicas, which for many people is a grail piece. This is one of my favorite pieces in my collection, uh, just because it is so sought after. Um, you've seen Ray Park swing these things around, and man, that's, that's really impressive when he does that. Uh, but I want to show you guys, take a look at this. This is the box, and I don't think they do this anymore. Uh, but this is the box, the original Master Replicas box for the Maul Saber. Now, I believe they did sell these individually, so if you wanted just one half of it, you could do that and buy a second one to connect them. And I believe if, if you want them now, the Hasbro version, that's the way you get them. But this one is special because it included both halves of the Saber. So if you got uh, a Master Replicas Darth Maul uh, in this double bladed full lightsaber box, it goes for hundreds of dollars and I'm very pleased to have it in my collection. Of course, you can take it apart and just use one half of the blade if you'd like to do that. Uh, but I think, especially for my Pfeifferkon collection, having the double bladed side is, you gotta display it like that. So after Master Replicas, we go into Hasbro. Now, Hasbro has something called the Black Series, and they produce, you know, helmets in that line, action figures in that line, lightsabers in that line. But before the Black Series was even a thing, they had something called the Hasbro Signature Series. And that's what some of these other lightsabers are. So this one is a Kit Fisto Saber, and if I'm not mistaken, this one was part of the Hasbro Signature Series. I believe this one does have a removable blade. Um, most of the time I keep my blades in, but I believe this one is removable. Um, but like I said, I could be mistaken. This one is being reproduced by Hasbro for the Black Series line. Um, and you can probably find it on shelves uh, coming up here pretty soon. This one is Yoda's. This is also the uh, Hasbro Signature Series. So take a look how tiny that is, um, you know, to scale with how big Yoda's saber would be. And this is when they started making sabers with removable blades. Master Replicas, to my knowledge, did not produce any sabers where you could actually remove the blade from the hilt. Um, this is actually my Anakin Skywalker Signature Series lightsaber from Hasbro. And I have a Covert Tech belt clip right here, and this is something that I would wear around on my on my uh, on my belt as Anakin Skywalker in the 501st. So this is a, a legit uh, replica saber, and you could add the blade into it too. So uh, a lot easier to transport when it's only just this, um, but it's nice to have that ability to do that as well. This is the Empire Strikes Back Darth Vader Hasbro signature series um with a removable blade as well and so over the years the sabers have really gotten a lot better um as far as quality goes now all of these with the exception of my park saber uh lightsaber that i showed you guys at the beginning these are more for display pieces so as i showed you before sometimes things like this um can happen when you play with them, uh, but as a 15 year old kid, I got really excited when I had a real lightsaber to kind of swing around and, and attack my cousin with. This is the uh, the Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker saber. Um, and so, you know, the Black Series, they are producing a lot of lightsabers out uh, right now. I don't believe I have any here. Oh, this one's a Black Series. This one is Kylo Ren's. Uh, it's got the flicker. This was the original Kylo Ren saber that they produced in 2015 when The Force Awakens came out. It's got a really decent weight to it. Um, it's pretty heavy. It's got the flickering and the sound effects. Uh, but there is a Elite Force FX saber for Kylo Ren um, that has a lot more detail in the hilt and you can actually remove the blades. And it also has a FX button. So you can hit the button and it'll make... Pew, pew. Things like that. Um, I do have one still in the box and I will probably open this, but this is an Elite Force FX Saber. This one is that of Darth Revan. So this one, you can remove the blade. It comes with an amazing stand. 
um, different crystals on the inside, I believe. And you can change the color from purple to red on the blade. So like I said, this will be opened eventually, but take a look at that sleek packaging. It's got some, you know, angular uh, look to it, which I think is, is very, very cool. But let's go ahead and talk about Disney, guys. So Disney now, if you go to the parks, you have so many options as far as lightsabers. And most of them are pretty affordable. Um, if you take a look at over here, this is the reforged Skywalker saber uh, that we see in the Rise of Skywalker. You can see the leather part on there. You can see the sort of the damage marks where uh, it was kind of fused back together. And the stand that it's on is one that they sell at Galaxy's Edge. So these are amazing replicas. These are part of the Legacy Saber collection. Um, and essentially what Legacy Sabers are, are Force FX Sabers. I mean, it's basically the exact same thing. Um, and you can get blades separately for them. So this is one of the blades that you can buy at Galaxy's Edge. They're about $50. Um, and they don't come with the saber. You have to buy them separately. So this lightsaber right here is one of my most recent additions to the PfeifferCon collection. I picked this one up the last time I was at Batuu. Um, all of the legacy sabers come with this, which is sort of just a little dust covering to keep the dust out of getting into the electronics of the saber. But take a look at this. You can put these lightsabers in, put the blades in uh, like so. It'll make a little clicking sound. You can hear the crystal being accepted. And then this is Ben Solo's lightsaber. So if you guys ever want to do a, uh, a Ben Solo challenge, I know it wasn't this lightsaber that he used, but this is one of my favorite sabers. And take a look at the comparison. This one to the uh, Kylo Ren. Very similar, right? I mean, it's got very similar look to it just without the side blades, the little kilons, but um, this blade or the hilt is very, very similar to the, the hilt that he gets as Kylo Ren. Very easy to, to put in and take out. Uh, there are three different sizes of blades that you can get, lengths. This one, I believe, is the longest, which is 36 inches. Um, and you can also get a 32 inch blade, which is only for sabers that you want to kind of get a smaller blade for. So for example, um, these are the Rebels Ahsoka blades or the Rebels Ahsoka hilts. Very big, right? But Ahsoka's got one blade that's longer than the other. So for this smaller one, uh, you can get a shorter blade for it, which makes perfect sense. Um, again, you know, it's up to you with what you want to do. Um, I really liked getting um, different lengths of blades. I had to get two of the longer ones. These are the uh, Asajj Ventress sabers. So obviously hers are both the same length, but it's they've got a really nice feel to them, great weight to them. Um, the Ventress ones are actually sold separately at Doc Ondar's. The Ahsoka ones came together, which was, which was nice. Um, the other thing that you can do at Galaxy's Edge, and it recently reopened, is build your own lightsaber. So for me, I built this one. Um, the batteries are still going after a full year, um, over a year actually, of this lightsaber. And this is part of the elemental and nature category that you can build at Doc Onda, or uh, at Savi's workshop. And there are three different categories, I believe, Peace and Justice is one, and then Strength and Power or something like that is another one. Um, three different that you can do. These you can also take apart and switch out the color crystal to put whatever color that you want in. So if I wanted this to be yellow, I could, or red, I could. I just chose purple because there's not a lot of purple lightsabers out there. So um, these have really great weight to them and they also come with a nice carrying case that you can put on your back and kind of carry it through the park, which is really nice. So ton of different options when it comes to lightsabers. This is how all of the legacy sabers come as well. They come in these really nice packages um, that displays them really nicely. So if you don't want to spend the extra money on getting one of those stands like my reforged uh, Skywalker saber is on, 
this works perfectly. I mean, it's got a, a symbol on the front, which acts as a button to open the case right there. So we got the kind of rebel symbol right there, symbol of the resistance as well, uh, which works perfectly. But guys, we've come a long way. I mean, the battery packs on a lot of these lightsabers are very small. This is actually what you had to put into a Master Replicas lightsaber. It took six AA batteries and we've come a long way now. I think you might only need three AAAs for some of the batteries, but there's a ton of stuff, including um, all of these things that you see here. This is actually a Disney Parks exclusive Ray Saber. Uh, which can be found at the Disney parks. And of course, uh, this is not at Galaxy's Edge. This is something totally different. So you can buy this at uh, Tatooine Traders or something else like probably Launch Bay when that was open. I don't know if that's still open or not, but a ton of different things, guys. Um, and these come with wall mounts, the blades are removable, and the lightsabers are really, really making a lot of advancements. So. Whether you guys like the Black Series or some of the other unlicensed sabers out there, there's a ton of options. And of course, if you ever make it out to Disney, definitely go to Doc Ondar's to check out the Legacy Sabers and definitely go to Savvy's Workshop to build your own saber. Thanks so much, guys. And of course, we want to know how your Star Wars is. So if you guys have something new and exciting in your life, that you want to share with us here at Twin Suns Outpost, please let us know using the hashtag How's Your Star Wars. And as always, guys, may the force be with you. Oh, job up. Oh, job up.